get their second victory of the season. Panthers will drop their fourth in a row after the 3 0 start. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Drio 6.8 quart see through window air fryer. Today, for you guys, we're going to make some super easy orange chicken using this Panda Express orange sauce. So easy. And we're going to pair it with these Aldi chicken breast fillets. They call it the red bag. So it's just easy peasy, but of course you can use any chicken breast or chicken nuggets you want to use, no problem. I got my rice going in my rice cooker. It's kind of what they look like, guys. It smells good, though. Okay, guys, I'm just going to fill this up. Because when they're done, I'm just going to cut them into pieces, into chunks. And then just glaze them with the... um. Panda Express orange sauce. That's just, just, just it. Yeah, that's good. That should be plenty for leftovers too. Okay guys, let's turn this on. I could hit air fry, but I'm going to hit broil. Because that gives me 450. And that's what I want. I want to do it for 12 minutes. And we'll flip it at 6. Hit start. Now this is going to create some char, so if you, don't, if you don't like yours to have that little burnt char look on the edges, then you could do 10 minutes. That's fine. As some of you may know, this air fryer has a see-through window. All you have to do is hit this light button and it will light up the window, the see-through window for about one minute so you can see your food. And then you can press it again if you still need to see it, you know, longer. So we're at six minutes, so I'm going to just show you what we're looking like. See? And now we're going to flip them. That's how they're looking. I'm going to give them a flip, put them back in for six minutes, and we'll be done. And remember, these are for frozen. All right, guys, we are done. And guys, remember, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're informed when my next video drops, as well as my YouTube live giveaways. You certainly don't want to miss that, because sometimes I don't even announce it. It'd just be random. Be I like mine with a little bit of char. If you don't like it with this much char, you can uh, do it for 10 minutes instead of 12 and just flip at five instead of six minutes. But this could be you guys. Guys, if you want to see how I cut it, I'll show you right here. And guys, this kind of, sort of tastes like Chick-fil-A. It has that kind of pickly taste. Kind of. But it's just good overall. It, it really is. Juicy. It's good. Your kids will definitely love it. You'll love it. Throw this in a salad. Throw this in whatever, man. See, now I'm ready. Get ready to mix it. And what inspired me to do this, guys, is my orange sauce from Panda Express is about to expire in about two months. So I was like, I need to use this. Because I love orange chicken anyway, so. All right. And if we need more, we'll add more. Yeah, add a little more. Okay. Because we want this sauce. I want mine saucy. Heck, I might add the rest of the bottle. Yeah, let's just do that. Now it's done. I don't have to worry about it. I want mine. I like mine saucy, so it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, this is perfect. It smells so good, guys. And I got this, uh, the Panda Express orange sauce from um, Walmart. But you're... Your main supermarket should sell it. But, you know, Super Walmart definitely sells it, so. You can definitely get it there. Oh, wow, this is going to be fantastic. This is my rice cooker rice, guys. 
and it took about 20 minutes to make in there it's just so super easy it's one to one I put a half a cup of Uncle Ben's rice with some chicken broth and some uh, my go-to seasoning which is black pepper garlic and salt and that's it done Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It's just too good, guys. It smells too good. Again, this could be you. Link will be in the description to this air fryer. You saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. First, I want to get one without rice. Or a little rice. I want you to try one without much rice. You got it? Alright. That is so good. Between that Aldi red bag chicken and the orange sauce, it's a great recipe right there. You saw how easy it was. Let's try it with some rice. You got it? Mmm. I tasted ginger. Just the flavors of the sauce. Really, there's no reason. If you like orange chicken from Panda Express and you have this red bag and this sauce, I, honestly, you really don't need to go to Panda Express. Honestly. This tastes better than Panda Express. Mm. This is so good, guys. Please try this for you and your family. It's just too good. Now, if you don't have an Aldi in your area, because, you know, I believe half of the United States doesn't have an Aldi, but you can use any chicken breast or any chicken nuggets for this recipe. But if you can get the Aldi red bag, please try it with it. Mm. And for my peeps out there that have not ever tried orange chicken before try it this way I guarantee you it'll change your life I guarantee you you'll be blown away you and your family mm. as you can see it was absolutely fantastic guys I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the 6.8 quart air fryer I definitely think it's worth taking a look at it's 120 bucks on Amazon. Um, you know, you got the see-through window. You got the long, longer than usual power plug. Um, you got the function, you know, the functions on the top of the air fryer instead of the front of it. It's not a fingerprint magnet. And it looks cool. So definitely check that out, guys. I'll leave in the description the time and temp so you can follow along. But that's all I got. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.